Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of getting started with Google Classroom. We're going to focus on setting up your own classes so that you can communicate with your students and give them assignments online. So your first step is to find Google Classroom, and you can find that in the apps over here to what's sometimes referred to as the waffle. If you click that, you should be able to find down here the icon that says Classroom. Click on that. When your classroom page opens, you may see some classes you're already a part of as maybe professional development, but in this video, like I said, we're going to concentrate on how you set up your own classes in Google Classroom. On the left, you'll see a plus sign. I want you to click on the plus sign, and it gives you the option to join class or create a class. So we're going to go down and click on create a class. Okay, so now you have to think a little bit about organization. How am I going to create these classes? How do I want to have them organized? So as an example, as a middle school science teacher, I would typically create a class for each period I taught. As a high school teacher, you probably would want to set it up by class period also. As an elementary teacher, you would have one class for your class of students that you see throughout the day. So again, our target number of students is somewhere probably around 25 students or less. That would be my general recommendation, although you can make exceptions if you're a specials teacher and you have 5,200 students that you want to put in one class, you certainly can do that. That's totally up to you how you want to organize it. Now you need to name your class. I'm going to name this example period three science. At this point, you don't really need to fill out this information. I'm going to go down here and click on create. Once your classroom opens, you'll see a banner that they give you automatically. You can change that banner if you want to under theme over here, or you can upload a photo. You also have a unique class code that refers to this classroom right here. At the top, you're gonna to see four tabs. Right now we're in what's called the stream. Anything you're gonna communicate with your class, I recommend you do that through this classwork tab. In the classwork tab, there's a create button. I'll click on that now. And there's a variety of options within that create in the classwork tab. I'm gonna go through that in a separate video for now, we're going to focus on how do you get your classroom started and how do you invite students. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click away from this. I'm going to go over here and click on people. Now, as you can see, I'm a teacher for this class and here's where my students are. Right now, we currently have no students in this class. If you want to add an additional teacher here, you can do that by clicking this symbol and you can simply start typing in the names of any of the teachers in the district and they'll pop up here. I'm going to type in Linda. So I'm going to click on Linda. And then if I hit invite down here at the bottom, she'll be invited as a co-teacher in this classroom. Now you can see her name is sort of grayed out here and it says invited. Once she accepts that invitation, she will pop up just like you see my name clearly without being grayed out. You're going to go through the exact same process to add students to your classroom. You're going to click the symbol right next to the students. It says invite students. I click on that. To invite students, you're going to type in a name or email. That may sound pretty time consuming, but keep in mind that all the students have a Google account. So if I just type in my daughter's name, for example, she pops up here. And if I wanted to invite her, I would click that and then I could click invite. So that's one way to do it. So I can keep adding students here. Okay. So I put one student in here. If I add in another student's name, here's another student, a couple other students. If I type in, I want to invite them. I just keep clicking their name. So as you continue to add names, you could do this for as many names as you need to. When you're all done adding your names, you're going to go down to the invite and then click invite. I'm going to hit cancel because I don't want to invite them to this example class. So you might be asking yourself, where does this invitation go? So once you've invited those students, it actually goes to their Gmail account that is associated with their Fleetwood Google account. All students from elementary to seniors in high school have a Gmail account associated with their Fleetwood Google account. So for those younger students, the parents will have to log into their child's Fleetwood Google account to be able to access this invite. The invite will be sent through Gmail, as I mentioned. Another option for letting parents know about this is giving them the class code. Remember, there's a class code here at the bottom, and that unique class code can be sent to parents through regular communications that you have with the parents. But when the parents go to Google Classroom, remember they need to log in with their child's Fleetwood Google account to be able to be part of that classroom. Okay, that'll wrap up this video on Google Classroom Basics, getting your class started and inviting students and co-teachers. The next video will be a video on Classwork tab and how to create assignments. As always, please email me at kbollendorf at fleetwoodasd.org if you have any questions or need any help. Thanks and have a great day.